Good morning, fellow wisdom in golfers. Now, obviously, if you've been to my website, you know that we talk about wisdom in golf. We've got this fantastic forum, got some great people on the panel. So if you guys need some support or you need to exchange, you want to share, you know, your struggles or your successes, the forum is the place to go. We got such a polite bunch. You know, we, we're, we're not there to bash anybody. We're just there to help each other out. This is a fantastic game and this game deserves it. So today, this is a really, this is the start of another uh, very important, uh, I wouldn't say, well, we could call it a thread if you like, a thread on the forum. And the thread's gonna be entitled Trajectory. Now, uh, I've been around Mo Norman a few times and uh, was blessed enough to really, to see him in action in several clinics. And I actually got to go out and play nine holes with him once. And uh, he surprised me with a couple of the, of the choices that he, he did for shot making. And one of the things that he talks about in his clinics, or he used to talk about in his clinics, is how he used to hit the ball on a specific height. And now mentally, think about what that does, right? If he's going, he says, I'm going to hit it on 40 feet, 60 feet, 80 feet, 100 feet. So he's going this way, which basically eliminates this. So his, his draw and fade trajectory was so, so small that the ball actually looks straight. All right, some days you could see the ball kind of fade off and land real soft, or other days you'll see the ball, you know, land and give it a little bit of run, okay? Especially with the driver. So what I want, to, what I want you guys to start doing is really picturing the trajectory you want the ball to fly on, and this will help fine-tune your setup even more. It'll put your body into a lot more uh, 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 instinctive positions to allow you to really perform. So I'm gonna hit three different heights here with the six iron, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna start off with um, a high fade, if you will. So I've got my white flag. I'm gonna start a little left of the white flag toward that telephone pole, and I got my tree line in the back. And what I want is I want five times the height of that tree line, two, three, four, five. And I've got a little jet wash right there at about the fifth one. So I want the ball to fly up toward the jet wash at that height, come back down, land right next to the white flag. So when I look at that, I'm thinking, okay, ball position needs to be just a hair more forward, club face a little more open. All of a sudden I've got the right club face angle, I've got the right ball position angle, and I'm getting ready to throw it up over that jet wash right above that post. Got it. That takes care of my alignment. So now all I see is that jet wash height right over that pole. Feel the weight of that arm club unit. I'm looking for a release that's going to get me up there. Okay, here we go. Huh, look at that. <laughs> oh, I wish you guys could see that one. It landed right between the post and the white flag, and it just, like a, like a high jumper, just over the bar. It was really cool. So now, I'm going to do a low draw. So low draw started to the right of the white flag and let it, let it draw right behind it, and I want it to stay lower than the tree line. So I'm thinking, all right, lower than the tree line. I'm going to have to close the face a bit more. Feel like I'm hugging the right side of that white flag and I'm going to keep it below that tree line. So I already feel that release is going to be much lower than the previous one. So what's that going to feel like? Oh yeah, release the sword under the tree line. Super just slightly above the tree line, right behind the white flag. Man, am I stoked about that shot. Beautiful shot, I'm very, very happy with that. And then finally, you know, depending on, you know, the wind and your, your stock shot that you're used to seeing on the range, if you're used to seeing that, then you must picture that. So I'm gonna go with my stock draw. I'm gonna start at a little right of the red flag, toward the white flag and let it draw back right toward the red flag. So I'm going to take dead aim on red, play the ball a hair back of center, 
and feel like I'm going to release it higher than the previous one, but lower than the one before. Yeah, there's my in-between. So feel that nice release toward the white flag. Here we go. Right on the money. Just started right of red, falling right behind red. Extremely well struck. Medium trajectory. So you can see how using height and making sure you include that in your mind's picture when you're picturing your shot out there will pay off big time in how instinctive you set up to that ball and how much, you know, how much open or close is it gonna be? So it's just, we're talking about little, very minute adjustments that make a big difference when you're hitting it out there. And then you, you match your release to that. So let's go with the high release, here we go. So let's say I'll, I'll just put a ball here in front just to show you guys. So let me picture, I got another jet wash right out there. Twice the height of that one, that's a little low. Just a little left of that post. Right above that jet wash. See how I'm setting up now? Out of the way. Out of the way. Nice high release there. So now low draw, under the bar and back around. Out of the way, out of the way. Nice low release. And the one in between, okay? Enjoy that. We'll talk to you soon.